Hello Aries, this is your November 2021 general reading. Now, we will separate different areas here just to get a bit more information. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of November. So you know what to look out for. Then we will have a look at anything to do with emotions, you know, love, no love, <laughs> whatever happens there before we go into opportunities that may arise at this point in time. So let, let's do that. Let's see what we got. Nearly there. Right. <laughs> Here we go. So, Aries, are you ready? <laughs> for the overall energy, or for the energy of the month of November for Aries, we have the brown bear, the mouse, and the kid fox. How this works is, there are three animal guides, and the one in the middle which is the mouse, because she's flanked by two others, is the one we pay the most attention to. The overall energy, or the energy for the month of November, for Aries, is this. The brown bear is literally saying to you, this month, look at your emotional core and look into personal deep healing. So apparently there are still things that need to sort of let go of or that need to go um, because literally your, your reading starts off with the brown bear saying you do need some healing, right? And it may not be as traumatic as it sounds but you know when the guys kick off with that message I would listen. Your middle animal, therefore the most uh, important one of this section, is the mouse. And the mouse is basically saying, you see the world exactly the way it is, so search your intuition and just see how do I really feel about that person? How do I really feel about that situation? And really feel your own truth which is really, really important with regards to allowing the healing to happen. Because your outgoing energy <clears throat> is the kid fox. And the kid fox is basically the animal that shows that you're an old soul, which is the fox, fox, but it's a kid fox, which means it's a fox that lives in the desert where opportunities and food are scarce. So, since this has to do with the overall energy of healing, you may feel that regardless of how many situations you have mastered so far, you feel a bit stuck. And what the guides are basically saying to you is, yes, that's because something here still needs to go. So allow yourself some me time. That's normally how it starts. You allow yourself some me time and either no thoughts are coming, which is fine, um, or tons of thoughts are coming, which sometimes need to be stopped. <laughs> Ultimately, when it comes to healing, it starts with nurturing yourself. So I think that's a really important message for Aries. Nurture yourself because the problem that you have being Aries is that you are the first star sign of the zodiac and therefore you are the beginning. So what that means is that a lot of people may look to you for help and guidance and sometimes fulfilling that role of being that constantly shining light um, oftentimes means that you really don't take time to look at yourself. And that's what the guides are asking you. Look at yourself, allow yourself to heal 
and to let go of things that aren't really working. Okay, moving on to the next uh, um, area, which is sort of love and um, relationships, that kind of stuff. And you have the heavens, the twin gods and the beaver. Now, like I said, this is a general reading. It might not um, resonate with all of you because here is something rather specific in that what I am getting energetically is that the messages or the message to come is for people that are either in a relationship right now or have not yet fully released whatever happened in the last one, if that makes sense. So there's no messages here for incoming love. There's no messages here for how to go about attracting um, someone. This is really all about soul searching for those who are either in a relationship that has been um, going on for a longer time um, for you to look at and or relationships that are sort of over and the remnants of that emotional turmoil that you found yourself in before you left or you know someone else left um, hasn't been fully released because you have the heavens which means we come from the stars and the heavens your ancestors are right here and when they show up at the beginning of a section they're saying we know it's difficult we know it feels hard but we're here right so that's another important step you're not alone in this even though you may feel alone your guides are right around you and you have the twin gods which means that it takes two to tango and it sounds a bit weird it just feels that should you be in a relationship and you are the driving force all the time it cannot work uh, so the twin twin gods basically mean means the coming together of two very like-minded individuals and the message to you therefore is to make sure that if should you be in a relationship right now make sure you're on the same hem sheet and if you're not in a relationship make sure that you expect whoever ultimately becomes that other person to really have similar views of the world. Yes, it is true, opposite attract, opposite attract, right? But this is about sustainability. This is about making sure a relationship works. And according to the energy here, it really won't work unless you have enough common common interest if that makes sense um, so that's an important message here and then the outgoing energy is the beaver which is the builder of bridges which means while the energy here clearly is about reflecting um, what you have on, on what you have got in your love life and reflecting on what you should be looking for with regards to manifesting new beginnings and letting go of old stuff that still sits inside you, if that makes sense. The beaver is the one that says, you know, as you look at your love life, as you look at situations, or as you're manifesting anew, you are the builder of bridges. You are needed to make this work and you are needed to give input into what is and isn't working so Aries please speak up make sure you are being heard and remember that because you are the very first star sign of the the zodiac you will at times really feel alone even with the most caring partner in the world 
because you start everything and there's a almost a compulsion within Aries to be supportive and sometimes that support will then mean that people become so used to you giving support they they become opportunists and they keep on taking and they're no longer exchanging values or give back to you because sometimes when you just do certain things all the time it becomes a habit so also reflect on how <laughs> overly nice you are and if it actually makes sense remember no good deed goes unpunished <laughs> they're just asking you to realize that sometimes it is your kindness that um, allows people to overstep boundaries okay so lastly we're looking at opportunities that may uh, come in um, in the months of november 2021 for aries you have the frog the bull and the scallop this is not so much about opportunities coming in as it is about focusing on where you are at this point in time with your life and looking at it really really in depth and then figuring out which parts of my life would I like to keep and then literally this is the message here because you have the bull in the middle you have the frog the bull and the scallop so the bull in the middle is the most important one so the bull tells you right once you have figured out what it is you really value um, in your life um, it's time you make sure that you walk the perimeter that you make sure your space is safe so how does that fit in with um, opportunities well it fits in with, with opportunities in as much as realizing to really only focus on the things that are working at this point in time and then the things that you have identified in your life that make sense to you to build on that because the message that i'm getting here energetically speaking is that a lot of aries would do best self-employed and would do best with no boss um, or not being on any sort of leash if that makes sense and so that's another area for you to, to look at how free am i in my decision making because you have the frog as the incoming energy and that means energetically speaking aries you are an amphibian who can live on land and on water so what the universe is saying to you with regards to your career your future um you can do anything and you will be fine and you will be supported the outgoing energy though is the scarab which is actually a dung beetle but revered in ancient egypt and the scarab's message is twofold number one all beetles are about regeneration and um, you know renewal and coming back to life kind of thing but as a as an insect the outgoing energy tells you to finally is the word i'm getting finally understand that you are important and that without you and without your your impetus or whatever word whatever um the uh, <laughs> can't speak right for want of a better word um not much works so remember that what you carry with you and what you you know is valuable so tell people to pay attention and listen to what you have to say right that was the um, reading for aries thank you all for watching see you soon